Because we are on information overload. We're getting the wrong information. We feel like we know how to do things. And unfortunately, the information we're getting is right. So, somebody here tell me what the first three letters in diet are. Spill it out, I want to hear it. Wake it up. D-I-E. What's that the opposite of? Live, exactly, that's what you guys are all about. Live. So diet sounds miserable. It's like working out sounds miserable. I play, I don't work out. Raise your hand if you consider yourself an animal. Come on, you guys all study the animal kingdom. You guys don't consider yourself an animal? Absolutely not, we're not, we're, we're better than animals? Then how come we are the only unintentionally overweight, sick, diseased animal on the planet? If we're better than the rest of the animals? Because I'm pretty sure that we're all animals here, and that most animals are healthy, happy, vibrant, they're not counting calories, they're not, they're not sick, they're not weighing themselves every day, they don't have self-esteem issues. I would have to say that we are an animal, but we're not at the top of the food chain even though we think we are. A lot of us grew up saying, you gotta finish your food on your plate, right? Tell me if your parents told you that when you were growing up, right? Finish your food on your plate, because there's starving kids in Africa, right? So two things, one, is you, is the fact that you finish your plate, is that gonna feed the starving children in Africa? No. So you know what they say in Africa? They say, put down your fork. There's overweight kids in America. <laughs> the food choices that you guys make and the habits that you're learning in your high school years and your teen years are going to affect the way you look as an adult. Do you understand that? The choices that you make, these are not your ancestors' choices, these are not the adults' choices, these are the choices that you guys make here as kids are going to affect not only the way you look, but the way you feel. Whether or not you're getting bullied, your confidence, the way you carry yourself, whether or not you're going to be getting a particular job or not, because the way you look carries over to the way you feel, carries over to the way you carry yourself, and usually people don't get bullied when they have a whole lot of confidence. And where does confidence come from? Within. And how can you have a lot of confidence if you're running around with no energy?